Hi, douchebag. You made it. Congratulations, you have been quite the nuisance. Prepare yourself. Prepare myself? Haha. <laughs> My foolish child, fighting solstice warriors is beneath me. But you did make it all the way here, so I will play by the rules. The time has come to decide on the fate of your realm and all of its worlds. Can you defeat my strongest lieutenant? Will she reign supreme over the cyborgs? Never. Your evil has no place here anymore. My, haven't we grown boastful? Let the matter be settled then. I call on you, my champion. Hey, you coward. How about fighting your own battles for a change? You bitch! You! All you do is corrupt everything you touch and make people suffer. I'm kicking you out. You would challenge a god? God? I told you once, you son of a creep. You're nothing but a loser. And so the fool repeats his mistake. There will be no time travel trick saving you this time. Come then, eternal pain awaits. This is gonna suck! Music is different this time around. I don't know what to expect. I just know this is going to be a really hard battle, probably. And the guy that I was looking at, though, it said that the Queen That Never Was was the hardest battle in the game, quote-unquote. So, I don't exactly know how hard this guy is going to be. Ow. <laughs> I'm going to die. That hurt a lot. I'm gonna die. More than likely. I should have made legendary feasts. That would have been smart. This might be where I die the first time. Well, that did nothing for me. Bye bye. That hurt. Hey, Ron. Hey, Billy. That hurt. Oh, 
same. Yeah, I had a feeling. I'm actually gonna hold off on doing the uh, thing for now. Not hurt. And I've done this. God dang it. Unfortunate.
There we go. I don't know how much health he has. I love girls so much. God dang it. I was thinking about doing uh, 
co like conflagrate or whatever. Like the combo between uh, Zeo and Rashawn, but I'd rather just do the ultimate attack. I should have done that. I didn't realize it did more damage. wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna die more than likely. Okay, that's good to know. Could end very badly. This should go wrong very quickly. Die already, Jesus. It's these stupid like tentacle things that makes the battle go longer. Thank you. shouldn't have done this. It didn't do nearly as much as I was hoping it would. Wait, what is going on? Uh, 
Well, that's new. Not paying attention to where I'm going. Oh, okay, thank you. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, okay. I understand. I understand. So this is going to be like a, a multi-phase thing. I understand. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. So I so that was the halfway point. Okay. So I'm making decent progress then. want to test something yeah I figured that so like the hammer attacks is like I'm understanding it's all color-coded I think I think I'm understanding what this is asking me to do so I need to get either Bist or Rashan into into the battle. See, vulnerable. It's all color-coded. I'm understanding what this is asking me to do now. Hold on. 
That's really unfortunate. No. Because Zeo is actually stronger than that. Die. Well, maybe it wasn't color coded. Wait, no, these are physical attacks, aren't they? I'm not entirely sure. No, they are, they are color-coded. It just wasn't doing it again. Ow. I need to bring Girl back in badly.
Now if I do this, it should do a ton of damage because it should be effective. There we go. Ow. Cool, thank you so much for just flying away on me. There we go. I'm getting close. One more time. Like, had I known I could dive through it, it would have been easier, but I'm dumb. I'm just uh, delaying the inevitable, but that's fine. I was going to stream um, something else tonight, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it tonight.
So Venom in physical attack? Right? Is that right? I believe so. Yeah. It's all color coded. I'm understanding. survive. Never mind. I should have done conflagrate, but oh well. What are we gonna be? Fire and venom, it seems. Time to use that.
Ow. Getting close. Need to hurry this along. My phone is gonna die. There we go. I think I got it. I think this is the last one. I hope it is anyways. Wait, was that not it? Unless I just have to widow him down more. I have no idea. So 
I don't really understand what I need to do now. I forget that it attacks the green one second. That's what kind of threw me off. And he's dead. It's not good. Back in the fight, buddy. Oh yeah, I forgot using the first item on the on the round doesn't take up a thing. I forgot about that. go down like right about now otherwise there's not gonna be any chance of survival
I wasn't paying attention. Damn it. I need more legendary fees. Like, badly. It's my one mistake. There we go. Did it. How is this possible? How? Better start believing. We're kicking you out. Go, go, go! That took me way too long. He's really gone, we're free. Hope it's been so long. Zayo, I can feel it too. We have to go right now and face the world eater. Will you return? We can feel everything now. There's just so much for us to do. So many worlds I had no idea. This is goodbye then? I guess so, Biss. Think. Oh, stop being so dramatic. <laughs> Just promise you'll visit from time to time, okay? I. Of course. That's more like it. We'll see you soon, girl. First sweep. I know, I know. You do your Luana and Solon stuff whenever you have to, but you'll always be Valera and Zeo to me. Wouldn't want it any other way. Seriously, we did something good here. You guys are the best. Well, go on then, and don't you ever miss my birthday. <laughs> you can count on it. Promise? Promise. Well, we should... Wait! <sighs> Before you go, could I just... Right. It's been great knowing you. I'll make sure future generations know your story and remember you always. It's been great knowing you as well, Teeks. Please stay safe. It's not about us anymore. You take good care of yourselves and your people, okay? We'll do our best in your memory. It's time to go, Valer. And so our watch begins. Here's hoping it won't be too boring. That'd be a first. Ha! <laughs> Hey, don't wait too long before your first visit. You bet. 
Finding by your side has side has been my life's honor. Farewell. There we go. Man. I'm I'm glad I actually came back to get the true ending because that was actually really awesome. And it actually ties up the the uh, story in a nice little bow. Granted, there's still DLC coming. Um, as far as I'm aware of, I think the dev said that it's in development. I want to see what the uh, post credit sequence is going to be now that it changed. If there even is a change. Actually, I just remembered... Ow. I just remembered there's the um there's the uh, flimsy hammer that I get after I finish the story. I completely forgot about it. Like I'll probably do that and then I'll end it. Last one. Now I just have to skip through the credits, and then I should get the fourth and final flimsy hammer. I wonder what's gonna change with um, Girl, because in the in the normal endings credit sequence, it showed his grave under the celestial willow tree. Need to hurry this along, otherwise my phone is gonna die. Hey, Moraine in the spa, and as w as well as a uh, word, I believe, like the guardian at the very beginning, or like the training dude. Hey, it's this guy. Verlot. Lots of new stuff. Getting close. Actually, I need... No, I was going to say, I need to go back to um, 
to do the question packs, but no, I got those already. I need to hurry this along, though. I have 10% on my phone battery. I was going to play Sister Location tonight, but I don't think I'm going to have time. Not unless I do it, like, later. But it's getting late into the evening. You know what? I'll figure out something. That's new. It's Brew Games, right? Because that's the, um, that was the, uh, the, uh, general in the messenger. It's Brew Games. He sent him far away where he wasn't going to be needed for a long time. Like way in the future. Interesting stuff. So we gather each year as they fly by our world on the on their never-ending watch, and together we remember remember their story. Hi, Sage. Yes. Is it true that they always fly in on the warrior cook's birthday? Oh, absolutely. Quite fitting, don't you think? Now run along, everyone. I must check in on the crib's renovations. Thank you for that story, Hi, Sage. Where is girl? How's the progress? Pretty good. I've been thinking about Yamara's notes, you know, about the flood. No worries, I'll make the big window extra thick. Well, do you like the central piece? Hey, girl. Yes, it's perfect. Ha! Huh. You'll be late if you don't leave soon. Oops. Yeah, I guess I should head out. Wentworth. Hey, old friend. Happy birthday, master. For the millionth time, please stop calling me that. Are you ready to go then? Oh yeah, can't be late. Where are you going? We're back at the uh, the hideout. Just right. Ha! Right on time. Oh, come on, don't be shy now. Finn, we're not done yet. There's still one more thing to see, I think. So sweet, though. Got the flimsy hammer. Gold star. There's one more thing to see. Unless I can't do it right now. Do I have all of them? Yep, got all of them. So I need to head back out. And I need to head to the ancient crypt. There's still one last thing to see. I figured this out um after I read, read an article. It's so interesting, though. Right. So I need to head... over here. Need to go into the ancient crypt. It's the last thing, so I need to go to here. I need to go 
Where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, here. The wall looks rather flimsy. Two. Three. And four. Boom, baby. I would have never known if I didn't read about it. It's a cabinet. The shopkeeper! Excuse me. Have we met before? Maybe, in another lifetime. Well, if we have, and you're about to complain about some time paradox, maybe consider that it was you who just broke the fourth wall. <laughs> it's brilliant. Because there were four walls? Brilliant. You're probably not getting a raise either, but the cabinet's all yours if you want to knock yourself out. I hope we could show you- I hope we could show you something new on this journey back to our childhoods. Office hours? Ever since those solstice kids came around, no one can really tell the time of day. I'm Jake. I helped Eric with the music and sound effects. This is the first game I've ever worked on, and I couldn't have asked to be part of a better team. Yo, I'm Reese, and I, and I play acoustic instruments. I don't really know how I got here, but hot dog, am I glad to be part of this rad game? Also, feel free to mail me a hot dog. Okay. I'm JP, an integrator. I used to find bugs, but now I fix them, and also cause them. I don't know, I'm not a mechanic. Huh? Oh, I'm Greg. The squirrels will tell you different, but I'm an animator. Don't listen to their squeaky whispers. They tell lies. I hope I made things move in a way that moved you. Pretty much, yeah. Now that would be a great buzzword for a graphics feature, laughs in HLSL. I don't know what that is. It was not an easy task making all this, but I'm incredibly proud of everyone in here. I hope you enjoyed it. Whoa, have you seen all those animations? I'm so proud of what we accomplished. Alright. Out of all the characters I helped to create, Conan is my favorite. His mom gets most of the credit though. Conan? Let's see, Terry. I enjoyed composing for Sea of Stars. I hope you enjoyed the nostalgic music. Isn't this guy created music for Chrono Trigger, right? I don't remember. I'm so proud I got to be a part of this amazing team. I'll miss this production, but getting some sleep will be nice. Did you have fun playing? The team worked really hard on making it as good as possible. It was a really fun journey being a part of this production. I think we ended up with a pretty cool, cool game, Don't do you agree? If you want to pretend the characters are having dance-offs instead of fighting, I give you my official animator permission. This text box should be nudged half a pixel to the left. All right. Okay. Am I speaking to the player of Valair? In any case, hope you had fun discovering the world. I did. I'm so blessed as a community manager. The Sea of Stars community is simply the best, don't you think? I hope you enjoy the game as much as I think I would have if I didn't get it spoiled by working on it. That's fair. Okay, I already talked to those guys. I'm Oliver from Berserk. Oh, Berserk Studio? I coded mostly under the hood, under the hood stuff, but I also managed the publishing of the game. If you are playing, it means we did it. Yay! Hope you enjoy it. Around the age of six, I fell in love with RPGs after playing Final Fantasy 1, and I decided that this is what I wanted to do when I grew up. 30 years later, and with the best team ever, my childhood dream has come true. Oh, that's nice for him. I'm the one finding the bugs now that JP is causing them. Buddy stares softly, relieving a tightness in your chest you didn't even know was there. Aww. Now, where did I put that thing again? I sincerely hope that we were able to communicate the love we have for games through the Sea of Stars experience. You did. You definitely did. Okay, last guys. Hey, I animated a few characters 
and then I started blowing them up instead. Sorry about all the explosions you took to the face. Yeah. Eric's the name, music and audio design is the game. For the game, it's my own game within the game. This game in fact- Oh no, help! I'm trapped inside the game! Awesome. Hey, I'm Miko. I created the visuals for the environment in our games. Did you enjoy discovering all the vistas? Yeah. Okay. So, that's everyone talked to as far as I'm aware of. Except one more person. You! Well, look at you. You made it to the end. What? You did it all. You did it all. It's over. You just met the actual team. What more do you want? The show's over. I'm going to bed, and so should you. Do you have anything else to say? Alright, do you want to hear a rant? Yes. Yes, please. Are you sure? There's no cutting me off. Yes. Fine. So you beat the game. Did you like it? Did the show steal itself? Did it do everything you wanted? And more importantly, was it worth your time? Would you say the team created some content here? Or are you reserving that term for those who will play it in front of a virtual crowd? Okay, let's start slow. Congratulations, you defeated all the bosses. You resurrected your best friend. You found all the rainbow conches. You fished all the fish. You wheeled all the wheels. You quizzed all the quizzes. Ugh, last time I tried being boring, I ended up making friends who thought we needed more products using Alpha and Omega in, the, in their marketing. I'm not about to risk that happening again, so let's move on to talking absolute, shall we? To make a good video game, you need to have grass in the first area, lava close to the fake ending, and a secret boss that's harder than the final boss. Look, I do make the rules. You can either disagree or take some notes. For what it's worth, I hope you disagree though. If only for the irony of you standing here right now after having turned in every stone. If you find me annoying already, just consider that it's not like healthy sleep schedules come easy for me. Also, I don't brush my teeth at work after lunch. I consider myself quite bearable in fact. Anyway, thanks for the warm up. I'll be here if you feel like getting real. Still here? I got more if you want, but it goes a bit deeper. Sure. Are you absolutely sure? There's no cutting me off, and I tend to ramble. Okay, you asked. You know the kind of people who use a niche word they just learned as if everyone knew what it was, but it's really only so someone will ask them to explain it? That used to get to me. Like, there was some injustice and in people earning points through manipulation and lying by omission. But let me tell you one perk about getting older. You start seeing the later chapters of some stories, and they have a lot to teach. Then one day, the realization just hit me. A lot of people are part of a race where no one even knows what they're trying to win. And I don't know what the supposed prize is either. I just know that I don't want it. It was kind of freeing to realize that there can't be anything of substance in a game that doesn't value integrity. Now, all I feel towards that is slight disappointment when I think of the friendships that could have been. But nothing too disappointing, just kind of like noticing that the bread contains raisins. So that's what I do now. I avoid raisin bread without engaging, and it's something I wish I'd started doing decades ago. Are you still with me? I'll save the rest of the real talk for the final part in case this is your stop. There won't be any judgment from this side in any case. Let's tone it down by talking about music. You ever go to a metal show where the musicians paint their faces? I used to think they were just exaggerating their characters to play to the crowd. And while I'm sure there's plenty for whom that's the reason, it also dawned on me that some people just need a persona. Something that they can become in order to remove whatever insecurities that would prevent them from engaging in pure expression. Something that provides just enough of a sense of being hidden to tap into a healthy form of anonymity, the empowering kind. Sort of like how wearing sunglasses can remove the extra layer of social anxiety that comes from eye contact. To be honest, I've lost count of how many times sunglasses allowed me to say no in public. Anyway, so about those metal shows. It's not lost on me that I might just be imagining all of this, that maybe they just... They all just like the aesthetics and that's all there is to it. But they still played an important role in letting me believe in the benefits of personas and, and in picturing a viable path to expressing myself. If that sounds confusing, the point is that any interpretation of an artist's work is valid, though it may not represent the artist's intention. If that still sounds confusing, you could replace painting your face with building a virtual world for all your made-up characters to live in. And if that still sounds confusing, the point is that I like this cloak. I have to go soon, but we can do one more round if you want. One more round. 
Do you want me to get real? Are you absolutely sure? I can't guarantee it won't ruin the game for you. I don't care. Okay, with this whole time traveling business, my memory tends to play tricks on me. I don't remember whether or not we've met before, but if we have, you might be wondering how the boy from the well is doing. Oh my god. You're really calling back to the messenger stories? I don't remember. Isn't it the boy from the well and like there was like like there was another person that came down in the well and then they shared the space or something? I don't remember. The short answer is that he's doing better, but I suppose we're here for the long answer, so let's do a short recap. The story so far, there once, a there once was a little boy stuck in a well. It wasn't really clear why he was in there. People assumed he fell while playing or that someone had pushed him. In truth, he had jumped in there himself. He spent years in the well, wasting away anxiously, feeling utterly inadequate. He had a deep desire to share his ideas with the world, but shame ha having played such a big part in his upbringing, his were lay broken. That's why the well suited him so perfectly. A place to hide where he could be alone with his stories with no one to mock or judge him. It was a safe life, unfortunately devoid of purpose, but at least shielded from re rejection. Over the years he made friends who helped him climb out and helped him build his stories to share them with the world. His friends were very talented indeed, and together they earned the means to keep collaborating in their own shared space. And that, in short, is where the story ended five years ago. A lot has happened since then, and this journey wouldn't feel whole without some closure, so here we go. Cloak on, mask off. It dawned on him somewhere during year two out of five of production, that for all of the sorrow inside him there was still hate. Not the externalized kind, but the kind that is directed towards the self. A crippling sense of unworthiness. He had festered into a false promise, that with, with enough effort, something would rise from the ashes at long last. A belief, a belief that the entire world just might be enough for two people to finally see that all along. That they'd had someone worth welcoming, worth accepting. But how would that even play out exactly? Learning about the notion of healing fantasies completely floored him. His situation ticked all the boxes. Life simply didn't work that way. There could be no click moment for abusers, and certainly no travel back in time to set things right. All that was left was the future. While some wounds may heal over time, there were a lot of doors, happy doors, that would remain shut forever. For months, it all turned to fear. Fear of being nothing but a response. Fear of living in delusion that he was sticking it to those who had broken him, while in reality, he was still dancing for them, going out of his way to work around the clock, constantly keeping the plate spinning as if there was a point or an end to it all. He had burned those bridges a long time ago, so why do their bidding still? And what was he thinking anyway, exposing the imaginary world he had used in order to survive, for everyone to judge and criticize? And so he crashed, but not so much in a physical way. It was like emotionally falling asleep, slowly but surely, until he felt next to nothing. But the work continued, for it was the only thing that kept him going. And with every passing day, he would routinely close the blinds and the rising sun to prevent the glare from creeping up on his screen. Going through the motions, the work progressed, and progressed well, but he was losing his grip on reality. During year 4, the guardian he never knew he had reappeared, and she saved him one last time. His grandmother was dying, but in her final days found exactly the words that would give him purpose and sustenance. It washed over him in an instant. She had been there in the background all his life, a loving and caring presence, the much needed light in all the darkness. The foundation she had managed to build within him in the limited time they had spent together during his childhood was carrying him to this day. Merci, Irene. I don't know. He finally understood that to touch everything with gloves was to touch nothing but gloves. So he took them off and let the memories flow, riding his bicycle through the puddle of water to mark the road with the wet tire, going through the box of popsicles at his friend's place and trying to see through the wrapper to avoid the orange ones, but those are the best ones. Feeling so thirsty that he liked to imagine the first step only served to give him the energy he needed to chug the glass. And of course, video games. He finally understood what they had been to him, a sanctuary. The place where he could be free, free to experiment, to learn, to ask, to fail, to persevere, to give up, to overcome, to laugh, to accomplish, to dream. 
He wasn't just a response, he was someone who understood how to build a sanctuary, and who knew what it was like to need one. And there, there had to be others, people he would never meet, who needed a place like he had known, so he had to make the best he could. And in a flash, he saw it anew, something that was right there in plain sight all along. The unbelievable talent that had gathered to bring this vision to life. The sudden realization made him uncomfortable at first, thinking about how vulnerable he had allowed himself to be in front of his teammates over the years. But f for all his second thoughts, there was one thing he couldn't deny, they were still there. Each and every one of them listening mindfully every day, applying their craft to help build something they could all be proud of, and at long last he knew that everything he needed, he, uh, he already possessed. His friends were there with him. They ha always had been. This whole journey was one of genuine expression of their personalities and of their unbelievable chemistry. With all thoughts of destruction now gone, he set out to complete the project with the intention to create without any hope of, recognic of recognition. The abusers wouldn't win, not anymore. He was pursuing this because he sincerely wanted to, and he had backup. Now with a stronger sense of self, he also took note never to fly so close to the sun again. I wish I could tell you that he achieved balance and now lives a life with more than a single thing occupying all of his time, but on that, only time will tell. Thank you for helping me indulge in some closure. It was much needed. I'll be going now. Bye-bye. Bye.